Welcome back to Sun and Moon Rising. I want to take a moment to thank those who signed up for our Patreon page. And if you haven't done so already and would like to, the link is down below. I really appreciate anyone who has or wants to. Thank you so much for all of your support. Today's Reiki session, we're going to be opening up our heart center. And why this is important is when we have a blocked heart center, we prevent ourselves from receiving and giving. Let's begin. I have some Palo Santo here to help clear the space before we start the Reiki. Clearing any negative energy. just going to take the energy and move it along your auric field. Your auric field is an egg shape around your body and why we do the whole body even if we're focusing just on the heart center is energy flows from our entire body up and down actually helps to balance the one thing it's very similar to taking care of our physical health we don't just eat one kind of fruit we need an overall balanced diet to get all the nutrients that we need. Even when we are ailed with a particular problem, if we just focus on that and let everything else go, it actually makes the problem worse. 
So we always have to make sure to take care of the whole body. We're just brushing everything. I'm going to be using a selenite wand now. We're again going through the entire work field. If you're wondering how one receives Reiki, when they're not in close proximity because energy is not limited by time and space. That's why when we are learning Reiki, we also learn distant Reiki, which is essentially the ability to practice healing from a distance. What I'm using here is a selenite wand. Selenite has very, very potent clearing properties. So we are also clearing your energy field of unwanted debris, as I like to call it. There. I have a little pink candle here. I apologize for how unkept this is. But I have the candle on the side because it's a little too small to fit in the actual candle holder. We're going to light this for our heart center Pink is a great color for this, including wearing pink. I'm going to light this and set it aside.
set it aside. We have a shell here to represent water energy. I dried a flower, a peony, I think it was a peony. It's this beautiful vibrant pink-ish magenta color. It has a lot of slight purple tones to it as well. I'm going to take some of the petals off and place it in the shell along with a drop of lemongrass oil and orange and we're going to infuse this with the flower and the oils and we're going to set an intention to open up the heart center just using nature Nature, again, is such a powerful tool. Don't need too much. We take the oils. Wonder if you can hear it. little affirmation I am open to giving and receiving I I'm open to giving and receiving. I am open to giving and receiving. We're going to take in one deep breath and exhale. I'm going to count you in. Inhale, three, two, one, and hold. 
Exhale. Three, two, one. We're going to pull a card. From one of my favorite decks, Messages from the Mermaids. This is the card that we pulled. It's called Dreaming. And you have this beautiful mermaid holding a conch and kind of looking towards the side. It kind of does look like she's daydreaming. I'm going to read the passage from the book it comes with. I'd like you to use your own intuition to see how the messages pertain to your particular life. Pay attention to your dreams. Keep a notepad and pen by your bed so you can write down your dreams when you wake up. This daydreamer is saying there's a strong message in your dreams right now. Writing down your dreams can also help you to decipher any hidden meanings. Both night dreams and daydreams can manifest into reality when you combine them with practical action. Maybe you're not remembering your dreams or not dreaming at all due to disturbed sleep patterns. If this is the case, avoid caffeinated drinks three hours before going to bed and instead have calming drinks like chamomile tea. Try putting lavender bags under your pillow to aid deep sleep or place essential oils in a diffuser in your bedroom to help you drift off. Or listen to guided meditations or relaxation music which can aid deep, peaceful sleep and encourage dreams to flow. Were you always daydreaming at school? Many creative people daydream, as this is where the seeds of their dreams start to sprout and grow in this reality. But if you find yourself daydreaming too frequently, make sure you're eating properly and getting enough sleep. Try grounding yourself. Dreaming and daydreaming can both be a form of escapism. Maybe there are things going on in your life that you wish to avoid. Things that are too painful. Releasing your fears through dreaming is just one of the ways your body can protect you in these circumstances. If your dreams are causing you concern, remember they are a subconscious way of releasing worries. You could also try avoiding trigger foods like cheese before bedtime. We're going to be ending the session with sound bowls. <laughs> 